Church Tech Weekly presents NAB 2013, brought to you by Planning Center Resources. Never overbook again. Well, we're here at uh, NAB 2013, and you know this is a product that I think is really exciting for uh, the church video market because um, we're here at the Isotope booth. Um, with TJ Jordan, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about some of their new products, especially their plugins that clean up audio. I mean, a lot of the people that are watching this are going to be church tech directors, and how many times have you received a video from your video guys, and the audio is just not very good, and they haven't been able to clean it up, and you can't clean it up, and it's almost unusable. Well, a lot of the products that they have can be used with all kinds of various uh, NLE systems, audio, and video. And uh, I'm just going to let TJ talk a little bit about what their process is and how the plugins work to make the audio for your videos better. TJ? So uh, this is RX2 right here. Uh, you can see, first and foremost, there's a kind of a wave kind of editor, but also a spectrogram editor. And what this kind of lets us do is it lets us kind of process the audio and take out sort of any sort of restoration issues that we may need to uh, be working with. So dropouts or clicks or crackles, if you're restoring vinyl records or just bad recordings that may be clipped when they're recorded in, or uh, any sort of uh, artifacts. So if you have a, a live recording that maybe the cell phone went off and or someone's coughing in the audience, uh, you can actually isolate those small little parts of the audio spectrally and then repair them using uh, some of our tools over here. And so first we have our spectrogram here to kind of edit the audio and work in, where we have our frequencies from low frequencies to high frequencies over time. So you can see different aspects and different things that might show up on that frequency spectrum there. And so by making certain selections, you can kind of isolate different parts of our audio, very similar to how maybe a, a a visual editor like Photoshop would work. You can make selections and apply a different processes to. And over on the right side here, we have all different kind of modules and processes we can load in. And uh, right now, you can see I'm working as a standalone application, but it's also uh, these plugins over here will load up as separate plugins in something like Pro Tools or uh, Media Composer or any sort of uh, host using a VST, RTAS, AU plugin format. So over here, I have a declip module, uh, which can be used to remove clipping, as I said before, of digital clipping. We also have a, a declick and decrackle. So if you have uh, pops and clicks and cracks and stuff from a record, or maybe just uh, even lip smacks and stuff like that. You can use that to uh, process vocals if you want to. We also have a hum remover. So if you have a recording, maybe there is a, a hum in the background, an electrical hum in the actual signal processing that you're working with, you can adjust that. And we have presets here for 50 hertz and 60 hertz hum for the different region that you may be in, whether it's Europe versus uh, the US. We also have a denoiser module here, which is pretty popular and pretty useful because you can actually use that to train on your noise profile. So if you're in an uh, environment that may be a little bit more noisy, maybe you have air conditioning units or cars driving by in the background or just general ambience, you can use it to train on that specific noise profile and then remove that out of your recording or just bring it back to a tolerable level where it's not distracting. And we also have a special repair module, which is more of a kind of a spot uh, spot kind of effect kind of thing where we can actually change and select what we have and then use the special in, uh, information that we have in the background uh, by frequency and time to then replace what might have been there or just kind of put that in the background and kind of blend it with what we were working with. So there's all sorts of different tools that we can use and these are all available to work in an NLE or an audio editor like that. Uh, but right now I'm just kind of showing the, uh, the kind of standalone application. So it's a pretty well-rounded suite for um, audio restoration and kind of fixing bad audio problems. Uh, currently we have a show special for um, 249 uh, but uh, by full retail price is 349 and then the advanced version which comes with extra uh, controls on algorithms and different kind of process that we have. That one's, uh, I believe it's 1199 right from our website directly and that's isotope.com. You can download a 10 day free trial right there if you just go to the RX2 uh, product information page. There's a little button that says try it. You can go check it out there, play with it for 10 days for free, see how it works and if you want to buy it you can buy it right from our website or through one of our authorized resellers. Cool. This is something that is a big deal for, we were just talking, in fact, we were just talking to somebody the other day about getting video from the person that does video for the church and having the audio just not very good. And this is a step towards getting that better, getting them this plug-in. There's two, there's two different types. You have the advanced and the standard. And if they just really don't know a whole lot, you can just get them the standard. If uh, they're really techie, you can get them the advanced and uh, make your audio better for the videos that you show in your service and on your website and all that. That's uh, isotope.com, right? Isotope.com, I-Z-O-T-O-P-E.com. All right, there you go.